this scene, battle sequences with bro, they cooked up here. Quarters. This opening stretch earns an A tier ranking for me. All right, now come on. All right, now come on. Now come on. This is just going to trigger me, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to feel special. Or at least, case, determine what was truly special in Jujutsu Kaisen. Some fights were cool, some fights were peak. And were some fights even bad? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see what this guy thinks. Shout out to K Reviews. Let's get right to it. In this video, we'll be highlighting the most epic clashes down to the most disappointing. Bad. The first real fight between Ghetto and this older sorcerer is a strategic chess match. Hey, this this fight is funny as hell only because of the hood JJK joke. I keep laughing when I see this nigga. <laughs> I'll give it a B tier for the clever narrative structure. Okay, now that's it's Gojo's where I put it. turn for this battle. BC. As he's oozing swagger and confidence against swagger. a sorcerer. <laughs> I'm sorry, gang. Swagger is crazy. This fight, probably same tier. I'll yeah, same tier. Put it in same B tier. tier. Same tier for sure. Ghetto and Gojo strutted into the spotlight in the last battles. Now it's time for the real deal as Gojo clashes with Koji. Go. This fight wastes no time. Peak. If this ain't in your A, if not Z, Japanese, Japanese. This was a really cool fight, bro. Opening with Toji ruthlessly stabbing Gojo straight away. We got a riveting one-on-one -on -one showdown on this our hands. This was a really For cool once, fucking fight. For once, the playboy Gojo is finally on the back foot in this battle. Throughout the episodes, Toji's been secretly plotting to take down Gojo. Yep. And it works flawlessly. Gojo always seems to be a step behind against Toji's calculated tactics and lightning speed. He turns Gojo into a ragdoll, delivering a Mortal <laughs> Kombat-style beatdown. Watching the invincible Gojo get ragdolled like that was very shocking to me. But Toji should have taken notes from Infinity War and gone for the head. Yep. The rookie mistake leaving Gojo breathing. The phenomenal animation and choreography yeah, paired nicely bro. with Toji's stylish introduction and Gojo's first shocking defeat. This earns an easy S tier rank. I'm not mad at Toji. it. Yeah, yeah. I forgot he has S and then Z. So he probably has like one superior fight. Toji once again proves he's a stone cold killer. He shockingly murders Rico out of nowhere. Dude is a straight up menace. Ghetto is out for blood. What follows is a battle oozing with slick animation yeah, like and thrilling set no pieces. Here. Toji's visible dominance keep the tension Maybe sky a. high. Toji but cements his be. status as the coolest, most terrifying villain around. Your like, levels rising. It's, it's, it's an probably a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. This this is a tier above Setsuro versus the old man and Gojo versus Brown Paper Bag Kid. So yeah, it's a it's a. You're beating down our it's heroes. A. Ghetto tries his best. Either, unless we're moving the old numbers like down Toji's one, lethal it's skills. In there. Despite a few slower moments. Moments, this is easy. Nah, it's not the same. Nah, that's probably the first miss, gang. No way is Toji versus Gojo and Toji versus my boy Ghetto Gaito Guto Ghetto the same. Nah, nah, not close. Rematch between Gojo and Toji is set against gorgeously depicted scenery. Mirroring oh, yeah. Gojo's own internal Go revelation about his powers Peak. and status, the tide has totally turned from their first fight. Peak. Toji now struggling to figure out what's up with this man oh, Gojo. Yeah, yeah, put Toji it, put it can it up, handle yeah. Gojo's red and blue techniques, but he's blindsided by Gojo unveiling a devastating new purple ability. While not much of a drawn out battle, the memorable moments of Toji's shocked ignorance at Gojo's growth and Gojo embracing his godlike powers okay. elevate this fight. The lack of back and forth action keeps this from reaching S tier for me, but the narrative payoff the and no way is that worse. No. He blossomed into no. the confident, unstoppable beast. You will not dishonor exactly. Blood. Not my glorious now, game. We get to the first movie fight with Maki making Ooh. short work of the first oh, okay. three threats. Swiftly oh, this eliminating cool. this them like... with her exceptional jujitsu skills. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Move the other two fights down. Cause this is I think is better than the other two fights we had at the bottom. Because, yeah, this this was pretty fucking cool. However, finally, locating the massive alpha curse in the depths of the building, Yuta and Maki confront it head on. Yee! But the monstrous curse consumes them into its vile belly. Trapped within the revolting curse, yeah, Maki I like and the kidnapped children are writhing in pain as the curse starts to affect them. Rika gloriously emerges, unleashing potent attacks that My rip through the God. massive curse while Yuta carries the children and Maki away. This fight earns itself a B-tier placement for me. I'm the not rich mad character that development and visually tier. stunning curse spirit rampage. I'm not mad it's now, the same it's tier, Inumaki's but I think it's turn better. to pair up with Yuta for this battle. It starts off with Inumaki flexing his skills by easily eliminating these fish-looking yeah, curses. Yeah, this one probably had the worst. But the boss probably proves too much to handle. 
handle alone, as Yuta decides to fight alongside Inumaki. Instead of attacking, Yuta wisely changes his tactics, retrieving Inumaki's throat medicine so his partner can unleash his full strength. This duo coordination leads to a flawless victory, as Inumaki obliterates the curse. One thing I'll say that JJK does better than a lot of other animes, though, like these random side quest-ass fights against random curses, JJK is fantastic at telling those stories. I'll put this fight in B tier. Okay, they're not After all the same declaration of war, we get two massive battles erupting simultaneously. Gojo going absolutely ham. Yo. Gojo's throwdown with Miguel is the most intense and memorable fight, so of course I gotta talk about it. The animation and choreography here are crazy good. Miguel has some intriguing abilities, but he's utterly outclassed by Gojo. There's a point where Gojo is just mercilessly crashing Miguel Bitch ass nigga, yeah, me, me. This starting to feel racist. He's saying that my friend and I were dying laughing in the theaters watching. Watching it. it was so disrespectful and overkill. Yo, like Gojo's just styling on him for fun. Man. Miguel deserves credit for surviving that onslaught as long as he did. This ensemble battle easily earned. Ooh, Z? Nah, put that down. Put that down. Put that down. Put that down. There's no way both of the Gojo Toji fights are worse than that. Nah. And Z tier status in my eyes. Meanwhile, back at the school, it's wasn't absolute much of a chaos. fight. You're talking to the wrong YouTuber. I am all for ass whoopings if visually told correctly. Even Maki gets taken out. Then Panda and Inumaki fall too. Uh, spoilers! Hearing Inumaki's defeated call to retreat finally awakens Yuta's inner rage. Woo! Just like Gohan going Super Saiyan 2, Yuta snaps and unleashes his cursed spirit Rika in spectacular fashion. Yo. Yuta and camera work captures their flawless teamwork from striking angles as they relentlessly barrage Ghetto nah, together. This was fantastic. Each clean hit lands with immense force. With its satisfying character arc, jaw dropping visual feast, and exhilarating action set pieces, this battle easily achieves Z tier status. Now, I'm not mad at that. Now, this, yeah. Now, this, if you said was the best fight you ranked thus far, not mad at it. Now I'm at it. Season one wastes no time tossing Itadori and Megumi into the fray against a pack of nasty curses while trying to rescue some students and retrieve Sukuna's finger. Tachi. Itadori struggles internally with his fear of death, but remembers his grandfather's words and steals himself into action to save the students. Tachi. Just when he thought it was over, an even stronger curse emerges. This forces Itadori to down the cursed finger. We get our first glimpse of Sukuna facing off against Gojo in an intense exchange <laughs> with some slick camera work. Wait, showing all of Gojo's this is one fight? Power. This oh. opening battle provides great insights into oh, the danger. I think this is cheating if all of this is one fight. Well, I mean, that's cheating. I think you're better off separating this because I think Gojo versus Sakuna part one is probably like A, but all of it, I gotta go B. Years of the curse filled world and the strength of Jujutsu Sakuna versus Gojo alone. Yeah, Sakuna versus Gojo alone is A. He's a selfless hero overcoming his fears, and it introduces but fan all the favorites other Megami, Sukuna, cool. and Gojo in memorable fashion. I'd rank this first fight in A tier. Dog, there is zero universe that you think Gojo versus Toji part two in the very beginning of. <laughs> <laughs> JJK are the same team. There is no way. This no. first fight in A tier. No. no. Itadori no. teams up with a newly introduced Nobara against no. a few curses. They split off and make quick work of the first two enemies. However, things take a turn no, when a third curse takes a child hostage. While Nobara has the power to defeat this curse, the hostage situation complicates things. This fight wasn't all that interesting in my opinion. The core issue is that Itadori and Nobara easily prove their strength against yeah. the first two curses. Like so there's no real tension when the third curse takes a hostage. I think they could have improved this part with Nobara, figuring out a way to handle the situation instead of Itadori showing up for the save. Still Fight lands crazy. in F tier for Damn, me. Damn, F. No, that's a C. It's not an F. It's not a coherently bad fight. Real when the squad faces off against a terrifying special grade curse. Fight. Nobara instantly gets yoinked Yoink. away to a sinister shadow realm. Not an ideal start. Then this monstrous no, curse this was so f***ing scary, bro. When that nigga just pulled up like... Fear is palpable. Itadori tries attacking only to get his whole hand chopped off. The tension and suspense are through the roof already. Meanwhile, Nobara is by herself battling cursed spirits. Itadori decides it's time to release Sukuna. Sukuna oh proceeds God. to embarrass the special grade, utterly outclassing it despite his power. He nonchalantly finishes it off with a terrifying domain expansion. Hell I'll give yeah. this an S tier for this masterful buildup of S. I put in like A. Well, yeah, it's good. Suspense and animation. I would call it S. Coupled with Sukuna's like ultra good. badass display of strength. Nice. The stakes are high as Megami confronts Sukuna in a death match. This Earlier, was so Sukuna crazy. Sukuna ripped out Itadori's heart, so if he re-emerges, Itadori will die. Back Sukuna this was so crazy. Like a concept was wild. Just to win. 
Unfortunately, things go very poorly. Sukuna proceeds to absolutely ragdoll Megami. I'll rate this A tier for the high stakes, one-sided savage battle, and emotional character payoff. One-sided, but you, at least they're in the same tier. Uh, if there's one thing that's consistent, at least they're in the same tier. At least he's putting every ass whooping version of a fight in the same tier. However, you complimenting the fight because of that is about to piss me off. Being said, I don't like it as much as like a lot of people do, but it's such an emotional fight. The emotions carry more than the animation to me, more than the beatdown part to me. So I could hear A, I would probably go the king of B tier, but I just think this is more of an emotional scene than it is a great fight. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Gojo versus Jogo was a major eye opener Ooh, for me on just how ridiculous this now this, this is a certified hood classic. With him thinking he got the best of Gojo, but each time Gojo stands there unscathed. Nope. This is set up for when eventually Gojo explains his infinity capability. At this point, it's a complete beatdown. The part yeah. where they're in the forest has some amazing Minimal camera mess. work. Yeah, no, this and the is hype easy. soundtrack to go this along with it. Even. We also get cool exposition from Gojo ass. about domain expansions. The cherry on top before Gojo flexes his own domain that was visually really cool. Between the clever Easy narrative yes. fakeouts, Gojo asserting his dominance, the scenic setting, and ability lessons, this fight is peak entertainment. Easily Z tier for me due to mm. its memorable moments. And Z tier? I get here. I just think at this point, my issue with your Z tier is this fight being down here. If you're going to call it a Z tier, that's fine. This fight shouldn't be down here. Like, But if we're going to have a flooded Z tier, then Toji, Toji and Gojo P1 don't belong down there at all. What follows my is an amusingly one-sided bout with Toto absolutely my best beating friend Megami. Dude? I'll give this a C tier for being a fun showcase of Toto's strength and providing some humor. Yeah, Megami joins mad. forces like... with Itadori to take on a couple of curses. This fight mainly functions as a way to showcase Nanami's abilities and give Itadori yeah, some more same. battle experience. C. I'd rank this a C tier. Yeah, it accomplishes C. its goals. The fight starts off closely contested with Nanami and Mahito trading blows. Things Jump escalate this when Nanami removes his tie, signaling he's getting a bit more serious. This fuck, we get hints of Nanami's stoic demeanor as he adapts and responds to Mahito's tricky techniques. Jump However, this fuck, the ending Nick. feels a bit anticlimactic when huh? Nanami simply chops Mahito's leg and walks away. Still, this battle uh, earns a B tier ranking for uh, providing a strong introduction. This heart wrenching clash begins with Itadori facing off against his friend Junpei in a tragic moral conflict. Of course, the sinister Mahito shows up, Ooh, turning Junpei into a curse. Yeah. Junpei and Itadori's bond, built over past episodes, explodes with feeling as Itadori desperately begs Sukuna to save Junpei, that even at the cost of himself. So crazy. But like Sukuna coldly refuses. Nope. Junpei meets a somber end, spurring one of Itadori's rawest rage moments yeah. as he vows to annihilate Mahito. Is forced to kill three human turned curses, digging deeper into his moral dilemma around proper deaths. Hito's response to that absolute masterful jumping execution was his domain expansion. In the climax, a merciless Sukuna emerges and brutally injures Mahito. This fight earns Z tier status for its emotional storytelling Damn. and phenomenal non stop action. Z the school exchange crazy. arc is at battle, so I'll rank them all collectively. First up is Toto Z. versus Itadori, which serves as a training for Itadori uh, ha, ha. as Toto allows there are many humorous Toto antics throughout the bout as well. We see Itadori start e to internalize e Toto's e wisdom by the end to improve his skills. Panda and Mekamaru was a fight I had low expectations for since I didn't remember it but came out enjoying it a lot. It was an entertaining battle filled with action. In the end, they reach an understanding and part Wait, on good he, terms in a heartwarming all of the fights? Maki quickly overwhelms Kasumi, who underestimated He's Maki's capabilities as a sorcerer. Like I really enjoyed seeing the reaction of Kasumi as she realizes Maki is really like that. Got Nobara me. battles Momo in a prolonged confrontation where Momo does a lot of straight yapping. Nobara struggles initially, but turns the tide using both strategy and ruthlessness. Maki versus Mei is an intense sibling rivalry fight layered with emotion. Megami and Noritoshi Damn, have an the whole fight. arc. The second half stands out as Megami appears to gain the upper hand for the abrupt conclusion. Looking at all these battles together, Man, they can name we're not serious. We, we are not serious. Fuck me even talking about Gojo Toji anymore. Let's say that he had this rank right, bro. Are we are we dead ass? This, this is above Gojo Sukuno. This this is above. This, we're not serious rank them S tier collectively. Though some fights are stronger than others, the blend of character development, emotionally charged storylines, slick animation, and impactful moments make the exchange arc battles pretty darn good. The climax of season one pits Itadori and Toto against the <laughs> <hoping> powerhouse <laughs> Konami in my favorite <laughs> battle of the season. 
It kicks off with Isidori Destiny's <laughs> real flowdown begins. Friend. An amazing scene occurs when Hanami rips up this massive root, I leading love to this fluidly fight. animated acrobatic running from our heroes across it with a hype soundtrack swelling. After an intense back and forth, Gojo swoops in to finish Hanami off with his visually stunning hollow <laughs> purple. This battle has everything. Easy Z tier material. This is probably the first time he said Z, and I've been like, you know what? I might actually say this is my favorite fight in the series. A. I know it's season one. I know they cook up in season two. For sure, there's some fights that we're going to get to that's going to make me rethink this. But this fight, rewatch it. This fight is fucking beautiful. Megami faces a menacing challenge sure. against a powerful special grade curse harboring one of Sukuna's fingers. Megami gathers his resolve and unleashes an incomplete domain expansion, eventually defeating the curse in a hard-earned victory. This fight deserves an A-tier ranking. I mean, based on this, these standards, yeah, that's probably right. Itadori and Nobara versus these sibling curse users. Itadori Nobara jumps is in a great B crash out. On the stunned curse she ain't A-tier, but she's a crash out. Nobara and Itadori each decisively take down one of the deadly siblings in a grueling struggle. Punctuates Nobara and Itadori overcoming the deadly decay threat through teamwork and resolve. By highlighting the pair's symbiotic Even skills I do like and refusal synergy. to compromise it's despite the odds, this battle earns an A-tier ranking. Season 2 wastes no time jumping into intense action with Mekamaru battling Mahito. Right. For my first, this fight absolutely sizzles with top-tier oh, animation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to, I had to recall. Oh, yeah, no, this fight cooks. This as he fight aims cooks. to this finish the fight quickly a, and reunite with everyone who has improved in the end, Mekamaru tragically falls, but not before showing insane heart against the odds. Yeah. For its gripping emotional storytelling conveyed through stellar animation, and a powerful soundtrack. I'll give this an A tier. Next up is Dang. Itadori battling a boastful for his locust standards. curse. Shocking. And I have to be honest, this fight was a bit boring. The locust drones on and on about being so clever, but it just comes across as repetitive taunting. You know, you, you know, it was boring. This fight was fun. that grows stale fast. This fight and the was animation fun. is pretty uninspired, lacking any real standout moments. I'm not gonna Itadori act like it's him, but this fight was fun. Throughout the fairy I'd routine say, battle, say, without I'd much sense of threat C, or tension, maybe. this is going into F tier for me. Nah. F is crazy, Yang. F is crazy. Playing the lethal disaster curses delivers on all fronts. Uh, the curses devise clever strategies, trying in vain to counter the invincible sensei. The slick animation captures Gojo's overwhelming power and precision. Dropping his casual facade, you know annihilation awaits his foes. Gojo senses Hanami drop his domain amplification and gets an opening. His vicious expression says it all. Absolute savagery is coming. Yeah. He rips out Hanami's face roots, Damn. then walks him down slowly like a ragdoll before squashing him completely Take against that. the wall. Mahito arrives with a train full of curses. Gojo briefly unveils his domain expansion, annihilating the curses while sparing the humans in a magnificent showing of precision. Yeah. In the emotional climax, it's revealed this ghetto isn't the real ghetto, and this brain thing controls his body now. Ugh. Gojo is sealed, ending the fight on a bittersweet note. This battle easily earns Z tier status with its visual I knew he was going to say Z. For me, it's S tier. Y'all know me. I don't like a flooded Z tier. Like the idea, and I'm not saying JJK is in a him anime, but like you see what I'm saying. I don't. I don't do. Someone was talking about over cluttered. Yeah, I don't over clutter my highest tier. That I think that gets a little crazy. Itadori and Megami team up against Awasaka in this battle. There are several drawn out slow this motion sequences like that somewhat drag down fun, the earlier parts of the fight. However, towards the end. The battle redeems itself with nice segments of Megami and Itadori. Overall, I thought this was a solid B tier yeah, battle. Yeah, I agree. B tier. On the sidelines of the Awasaka battle, Takuma clashes with this guy with and his grandma in a parallel fight. Then the grandma transforms her grandson into the legendary Toji, completely changing the tide. Uh. Once resurrected Toji appears, it's a wrap for poor Takuma. This brief scuffle mainly functions as a setup for the return of Toji. Other than that, and some decent animation, it's an unremarkable skirmish. I'll generously rate it C tier for smoothly. Generous C is crazy. And Toji back into the fray. Generous C is, is crazy. The fight Nobara and Haruta. The beginning portion isn't much of a fight, with Nobara trying to attack as Haruta evades while taunting the entire hey. time. It's not until his sword makes its way to the assistant where hey. we get a clash. Nobara nearly defeats Haruta hey. by collapsing the floor on him. However, he's still alive due to his technique. With Nobara and the hey. assistant in peril, Nanami makes his entrance. Nanami really comes in on straight business. What follows is a completely one-sided onslaught as Nanami beats Haruta effortlessly, ending his life several times. Entertaining B-tier fight for me. 
Itadori's clash with yeah, Choso amazing. overflows with creativity and vision, cementing it as oh, an instant a. classic all fight. Day, every day. The animation no, no, pops actually, with this is ass. I was gonna say, no, this is actually ass. -tier. Action intensely yeah, visceral. Even the color palette is amazing. Bathing this, this battle is in a cinematic flair. The use of first person camera angles this also low innovates. Key, this low key is gonna be forgotten, but this is like one of the better fights in season two. And when I say one of the better, I'm not putting it in like a group. Yeah, some of chat's going there. I'm with y'all. This is like low key a contender for best fight in JJK. This is. This fight is really good. Putting us right in the fight for this an immersive fight is experience. This really fucking good. Joso so for him no sake, time see, I apologize. His I was saying that. A glimpse of yeah, Itadori. This is... At first, Itadori desperately counters, this fight is dodging amazing. and deflecting Choso's onslaught. On Mechamaru's advice, they take the brawl into a bathroom for Hell closer yeah. quarters combat, amplifying the intensity. Once they enter the bathroom, the close quarters provide Box a more dynamic then. and intense battlefield. Box Joso up and Itadori <laughs> unleash hard-hitting hand-to-hand attacks. If you don't like this, you don't like anime. I ain't gonna lie. The camera alternates between up-close first-person views and dynamic wide shots to capture the lightning-fast exchanges and massive damage, while the epic soundtrack accentuates each crushing blow. Yeah, nah, this is Z. I'm not even mad at it. No way. No way, shape, or form. Next fight is Dan Han versus the gang. I ain't gonna lie, this was the fight I was referring to earlier. Like, in, in hindsight, this is a side fight. This is a side quest, but this is so crazy. Once Dagon goes into his full size, the fight begins with Naobito carrying most of the fight. Due to Naobito's onslaught, Dagon decides to activate his domain expansion. Like, this, I this is a fight with characters really that we wouldn't even know, like, think fight. twice Dagon's on for the most part. Is very Megami comes into the domain and presents a plan for them to escape. However, instead of them escaping, Toji <laughs> enters. First thing he does is he takes Maki's weapon and confronts Dagon with amazingly smooth animation and non-stop action. Yep. Toji obliterates Dagon with every blow, looking like a menace while doing it. Yep. And his final attack of a barrage of punches was insane. Definitely a Z-tier level fight. In a brutal fight between unknowing father and son, Megami desperately attempts to flee the relentless Toji throughout the Can't city, breaking the floor to turn debris into pellets against the rabbits. I gotta say, being chased by Toji throughout buildings, roofs, and streets has gotta be a terrifying yeah, this experience. Is to However, me. Toji seems to have a realization Z, about this Megami's really identity good. and ends himself, sparing his son. Despite limited direct clashes, the palpable suspense of being hunted by Toji, coupled with the emotional character dynamic, earned this an A-tier ranking. There's an elephant. Just look at what he has better than this fight. Above Megumi versus Toji, he has all of the, like, one-on-one -on -one fights. The fight with Sakuna versus that curse. Geto versus Toji. And Toji versus Gojo. Now, this one I do think is better. I think a lot of us think that. The remaining three, especially you. No. Tsukuna's rampage begins ominously, with Tsukuna's demented laughter echoing throughout the city streets. As we get a shot of his face looking skull-like, establishing him I'll as go the Grim a, Reaper himself. Not, yes. As I they think, fight, Tsukuna like and Jogo trade earth-shattering attacks that way, demolish I'm entire city lane. blocks. I'd Their clash a. reaching a scale worthy of a movie's climactic finale. Jogo unleashes massive fire-based techniques, but Tsukuna is unaffected. The camera work Season captures their really insane good, speed though. and power from unique angles across sprawling set pieces. At one point, with a towering inferno meteor by <laughs> nah, Jogo approaching, was fucking Tsukuna cool. really I forgot about that. I forgot about this nigga threw a planet and then hit Indra's arrow. I, I, yeah, that's ass. That's easy ass. Forces some cursed users I to forgot stand about still that. Not got move Z. until he allows it. The I'm more reserved with my Z's than y'all, the meteor this is, is coming right toward its grand scale, intense soundtrack, amazing animation, and visual magnificence. This fight deserves the Z-tier ranking as a standout among and what's crazy is the next fight may even edge it out. After teasing May. it throughout the whole show, <laughs> Megami fight May! Big Raga, the Op Stopper versus Sakuna. Put that in the Z. Finally unleashes Maharaga, and its showdown with Sukuna is the definition of a spectacle. Big I felt like the animators were just adding cool scenes to flex on us. <laughs> like, how did Maharaga end up in this plane? This Shikigami feels Nigga like an unstoppable up, force of nature really as it tears it apart the city, hunting Sukuna. The body count piles up fast, with Maharaga on the warpath. Oh yeah, I forgot to address that. Yeah, you guys were mad that I didn't watch the Blu-ray specific version of the fight. If you guys want me to watch the Blu-ray video, get this to... Let's just go to 2K again. 2K likes it. We'll watch the Blu-ray version of this fight. Nice the animation was. The scene of Maharaga coldly marching through Sukuna's domain, accompanied by the music, gave me chills as well. This entry to this fight is amazing. Respect to the animators who made this fight along with the entirety of season two.
After tragically killing one of my favorite characters, Nanami, Itadori goes toe-to-toe -to -toe against Mahito once again. With Mahito having also killed Junpei, this fight this becomes bitch. deeply personal for Itadori. The fight starts off with pretty interesting battle sequences within Bro, fighting close up here. quarters, with a wall limiting movement at one point. This opening stretch earns an A-tier ranking for me. All right, now come on. All right, now come on, now come on. This is just gonna trigger me, bro. Do I agree that it's A? Yes. Do I Do I agree that, yeah, this is not Z tier, S tier, whatever? Yes, but like, what? This half of the fight ends with Nobara going against Mahito's clone. Nobara's confrontation with Mahito's clone is brief but intense. Despite its short length, okay, I'd rank this a B tier. Yeah, I agree with B tier. Toto goes on the <laughs> offensive first against Mahito to buy oh, yeah. time for Itadori <laughs> to get in the zone. Eventually, here comes a new challenger. I don't know if this is my third or fourth fight saying it. Put it in the list. This fight might genuinely be my favorite fight in JJK at this moment. It's, this fight is stupid good. A dynamic duo synchronized flawlessly, playing off each other's moves like a well-oiled machine. There's no need for words. They intuitively work together, highlighted mm -hmm. by some slick combo sequences. But the payoff comes when he claps nah. hands with Mahito, using his technique to swap with Itadori for a surprise Excuse black me. flash. Toto comes in clutch, faking yes, his technique to allow yes, Itadori to finally land the black flash. This leads to the iconic I am you scene, where the snow part of the scene seems to play out in Mahito's head. A terrified Mahito hallucinates yes, Itadori this as the predator saying, this and himself gotta be as up the prey, there, bro. hence the bunny and the wolves. To me, the bunny's leg breaking was symbolic for Mahito not able to escape. With its emotional appeal, camaraderie, and smart tactics, I'd rank this a Z-tier yeah. fight. The climactic battle against the pseudo Ghetto sees multiple sorcerers join forces to no avail. Yeah, I Their guess attacks are ineffective as Ghetto evades it's encounters with seemingly like minimal me. effort. Th this episode the real was more comes about the from um, Choso going all out, unleashing this, this, his arsenal this, this of blood techniques. The, uh, but Ghetto outmaneuvers him as well, showcasing like his. Well, not the most thrilling action-wise, this fight earns an A tier for the narrative weight of the game-changing info dump. I can't call it A just for narrative it's much easier to just say this is a b-tier fight but a hell of a moment overall in my opinion this list would have been a lot better you just delete s if you put like all the s tier fights in a the list is already marginally better but i do think at the end of the day and maybe he's trying to showcase that jjk is an amazing fight anime because a bunch of z tiers i just think it's over cluttered but let me know your thoughts man let me know if i'm tweaking subscribe to the channel and become a member man that's where all the uncut stuff is follow up the twitch as well obviously shout out to the creator k reviews k reviews i hope i didn't fuck up your name take care and stay blessed